Uh, I'm being told that the NDR of DGS and Pradhan is joining us. Sir, thank you very much for speaking to Republic TV. The idea is to basically answer questions that have been posed by several of our viewers, especially uh, given the fact that there are, there's a need for some amount of clarity. So, uh, Mr. Pradhan, let me begin by asking you, in terms of uh, how the... NDRF is essentially responding. What are the measures perhaps the NDRF has taken and the challenges that they are facing at this point in time? Well, right now the issue is uh, about uh, the uh, keeping the NDRF on standby for the use of uh, the states. The states uh, are, have been intimated. Uh, I have sent a DO letter to all the chief secretaries. Uh, after consultation and uh, the letter says that the NDRF is on alert standby for the states and alert standby means that they can be used at any time and uh, just to pare it down to numbers uh, we have 12 battalions and 50, uh, 45 to 50 uh, sub-centers which are sub-battalion formations spread across the country and uh, so they cover almost all the states and uh, union territories so the union territory and the state chief secretaries have been requested to utilize the services of the alert uh, NDRF whenever they feel so, but uh, they should be as per the protocols. So the NDRF, I must tell you that uh, they have been equipped with the personal protection equipment uh, to the tune of about 400 to 500 per battalion. So we are looking at almost 6,000 personnel on standby and already some states have started using them in various capacities and various functionalities uh, like Bihar has started using them for some uh, uh, transportation of suspect patients uh, Tamil Nadu has used them in the railway stations uh, and such like uh, Maharashtra and Gujarat has used them Gujarat has used them for some awareness generation in certain areas so this is this is the uh, functionality that we are looking at but uh, the f the f specialty that NDRF has is that most of them are MFR trained. MFR means the medical first response training. And they are also trained in pre-hospital treatment, PHT. So some kind of a backup to the, uh, to the medical fraternity, which is the doctors and, and the paramedics. They are not as good as paramedics maybe, but they are good enough to do trauma care and other, uh, other uh, backup for the medical personnel. So if required, they'll be pressed into service, but it is the discretion of the state. We are on standby. Well, Mr. Pradhan, what exactly is your focus area as of now? You're saying 6,000 personnel are currently on standby and your readiness as well because this is something, the disease that does not discriminate between anybody. So when it comes to your own sides, your own team's preparedness, can you share with us also when it comes to the focus point will be because as more and more people are being advised to stay indoors, what exactly will be the focus point when it comes to the NDRF? Well, uh, the, the dictum for the NDRF is never to decline uh, a requirement uh, for the nation uh, in terms of any disaster. This is a biological stroke medical disaster that we are looking at. And so that is why we have equipped our personnel to the extent of 50%, as I said, uh, protective equipment. They are ready with their suits, their masks, uh, their other accoutrements. So they, they can be uh, used by the st state government as they want. And as I speak, uh, almost 20, more than 20 states have placed the NDRF personnel also in the COVID control rooms, the state control rooms, so that uh, the monitoring of both the medical aspect of the, uh, the uh, situation as well as the law and order aspect of the situation can also be done on the, from the same page as the NDRF because NDRF is also assisting the uh, local uh, police and local medical staff uh, equally. So as, 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 as I say, you know, the NDRF is on standby. Uh, it is not uh, a situation yet that they are pressed into service uh, in, in a full-scale manner. But then, as is the paradigm of disaster response, the state government and the local government has to respond first. And then the NDRF has, comes as a backup. And the other thing is that this is, the, this is a medical emergency. And uh, the medical uh, fraternity is, is as at the front line. And subsequently, whenever they want us, we'll also join them.
Hi everyone, I'm Sujarita Kukreti. Thanks for checking out Republic World. If you would like to watch more show highlights and live coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the Republic World News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.